this typically shows a reversal. This candle push down is also saying all the sellers are driving it to the downside, yet it continued to climb up. Do you see it? Honestly, on this one, if you were just staring at these candles, right, this would have told you to this would have told you to get out. And it did not work out that way. That's why you can't put all of your weight into those candles, right? So volume saved the day on this one because more buyers came in. I mean, look at this whole thing. So you had buyers that pushed this candle up. Then you had a doji, which should have spelled reversal, which means everybody started selling right here. And then it just spiked up to the upside anyways, right? So especially in pre-market, I'm really just paying more attention to volume coming in. How much is it working? What kind of news catalyst was it? Um, when you get big, big news like that, even if people are running around trying to sell off and do this, this, you know, weird little stuff, it doesn't matter. I mean, look how quick the buyers came right back in there and then they try to sell it off. And then the buyers came right back in there again. Now, what you really need to be concerned about are these candles. Do you see this and this? This signifies no more volume in here. You see this? That's more of what you need to be scared of than anything else. The reason that is that without volume, this doesn't move anymore. So that means if now if a seller comes in here and dumps this thing, there's, there's probably not enough volume to buy it up, right? So you're more concerned with this garbage than any of these in the pre-market. See how these are not candles, but they're lines. These are a sign yeah. nobody's buying and selling now. Nobody's in there buying and selling Tupperware right at this moment. These are way worse. There's no body yeah. to the handle. There's no body, right? No body, meaning a line. There's no volume right here. There's nobody buying and selling this thing. So let's say we're in Apple, the two minute EWO, and you're riding this thing out, right? And you're making money all the way up to the upside. And it breaks down here. Now look at the color change. We don't panic on this color change because we bought it down here. It's still above VWAP and it's still rolling. The only time we worry about a color change is at the entry of the trade and it changes color right away, meaning it did not have strength to drive it to which way you want to go before changing color. You don't have to worry about this because you're up so much. The color change doesn't affect you. Does that make sense? So unfortunately, if we use some sort of algo that said, hey, you need to tell us to get out. Well, the problem is the algorithm would have said get out here, right? It would have been like, you must get out. The color changes and all that stuff, right? So an algorithm would have said get out here on the bottom. And then it drove back up to the top again, right? So now for us, we want to be doing the shedding technique. The reason is, check this out. If this comes up, right? Here's your first shed, by the way. There's 50, comes up, pulls back, there's 20, pops up, pulls back, there's 20, comes back down, breaks VWAP. I would for sure get out, and that's the le that's the rest of it. But now check this out. What if it came down again, right? And then it took off and it just made new higher highs and higher highs, right? But the algorithm was like, well, get out. That's completely wrong. Right. This is why we can't use an algorithm to exit. So if you guys are always wondering, but I don't know when to get out. Shed on pullbacks.